What is going on guys? Thank you so much for checking out another episode of Track Attack with Dio. This one isn't from last weekend, it's actually from the week previous where I did my day with Dio riding five different dirt bikes because I kind of forgot to do this one and then I was looking back through and I was like, oh, I need to do that. And um, so without further ado, I'm gonna let Blake Kerrigan take it away, tell us about his bike. All right, so I'm here with Blake Kerrigan and Shane Kerrigan <laughs> riding Blake's bike. They're, they're pretty much exactly the same bikes, just the suspension's different, is that right? Yeah. All right, and what year is it? This one's a 14 and that one's a 15. Okay, and it's a 250 Suzuki, obviously. Yeah. Do you have any suspension, exhaust? What all do you have done to, uh, to it? I got a DDT exhaust and that's, that's about it. All right, so it looks like you have the full system header and the, and the muffler. Yeah, it's nice. It gives hmm. it a lot more power. Right on, there we go. Well, uh, appreciate you letting me ride it. Yeah. Appreciate you too, even though I'm riding this one, pretty much the same. Here we come up to the finish line, hitting that tabletop, not going too awfully crazy. The track was very hag and very worn out at this part of the day. Uh, it was pretty late in the day, I don't know exactly what time, but it was later and they were watering part of the track. You can see I don't even really throw the bike out. Come through this section, I sit down, I'm not even hammering down that hard. Um, the bike really felt like it might have had a flat rear tire even when I pulled off the track. I, I looked at it and had my dad look at it and um, it was just that the tire was kind of a, an older one that needs a, new, needs a new rear tire on it. So we didn't have a ton of traction and just didn't really feel too awfully comfortable on the Suzuki. But we're powering down through that section, the back sand section, to come up and over the tabletop. Of course, there we are. A little shaky. It was pretty windy this day. You can see the dust there blowing my dad around as he's trying to get a good footage for you guys. Not even hitting that little smaller triple, but here we come into first person view of that. Not too bad around this corner, uh, just kind of roll on the power nice and easy, not getting too out of control there, just want to keep it nice and nice and smooth. So again, around here, you can just kind of tell just by, just by looking at how dry the track looks at this point. I'm not even charging that corner. Um, this was actually my last ride of the day too. Uh, like I said, it was pretty late in the day. So down, this was the only bike too, I didn't jump that triple, uh, triple down into that sand, but up and out. I kind of missed that corner. I think that uh, I, when I hit the brakes, I just maybe I locked them up and just slid because you can tell now that there's shininess, there's some wetness on the track. So I didn't even really get the brakes how I wanted. Up and over Scrub Hill here, then just single through this. We don't even single bounce double. Do take the inside and hit that double. Try and get around that corner, get up and over the step up. Not too bad there. Power down through this back section. At least try to make up some time and. Um, out and around this left-handed sweeper, you can see that was that was a pretty good run. Just nice throttle control, just rolling it on, not trying to let the back end step out or anything. Down through the off camber into the second sand section. Again, trying to get that 250 power down to the ground, pull me around. Um, that almost rhymed, impressive. <laughs> Again, not, not really too many lines through that section, up and over the ski jump, and then just kind of coasting through here. Watching this back, this is a pretty sad lap, and I openly admit that. Um, I'll have to ride this bike again in the future. We do have a rider down there, able to easily avoid him. If I wasn't on my quote-unquote hot lap, I would have helped him. Um, I go through that and take the outside so I could try and get more speed to clear this. Actually, looks like I did pretty well, but that's why I like go from the inside to the outside. I would have went further left, but there was that rider down, so I didn't want to hit him, so I went to the inside to the outside. All right, guys, so there was the lap. Not my best, that's for sure. Before we even get up on the board, just watching that lap, the whole time you're just kind of like, are you going to go? Did you slow this down? That's how I felt watching it. I was watching it back, and I'm like, man, that was a terrible lap. But like I said during the laps, um, it kind of felt like the rear tire was flat, but it's just because the tire was, it, it needed a new rear tire. It was a, a balding tire, essentially. Um, the track was pretty hag. It was late in the day. You could tell it was dry in spots, and then they were watering, so it was wet. So you have the totally dry dirt, and then you have water on top of it, and that just makes it super slick. So I was riding it pretty pretty conservatively. Um, no excuses. I just didn't have a fast lap on Blake's bike. Blake, thank you so much for letting me ride your bike. And I was actually going to ride Shane's bike, so Shane, thank you. Um, this is one of these guys, uh, both the Kerrigan brothers, they're really cool. I'm sure when Aztec isn't so hagged, they'll let me ride their bikes again and redeem myself before we even move up to the board. I'm just, I'm just spitting because I know this. Before I even did the time on my own, I was like, this isn't a good lap. So, uh, but I did want to make sure that I wasn't like uh, deceiving you guys or holding anything back. Even when I have a poor lap, I still want it to go up on the board. I'm not doing this to like make myself look better to you guys or anything. I promise you that more of it. I love having this board up in my, in my office. It's really cool for me to look at. But even when I run a slower lap time, I still want to share it with you guys. 
So with all that being said, let's move up and take a look at how that lap was. All right guys, so if you've been here watching Track Attack for a while, you know I'm running out of space. I just drew this divider line. So now we're gonna go first, second, third, fourth, fifth, on and down, and whatever's at the bottom is gonna actually go on the next board, uh, or the next side. Because honestly, you guys, I didn't think Aztec was going to keep this layout this long. They're refacing some of the jumps before. I thought they were going to switch the layout when I was like three bikes in. But we're just going to do that for now. Um, separate it and then we'll just have the others on the other side. But without further ado, we have Blake Kerrigan's 14 RMZ 250. And it is coming in way down here with a 157.38. At least I wasn't slower than the 140. Again, that's a pretty bad lap time. That's all on me. The track wasn't the greatest, but um, I didn't really push that bike too hard. So maybe we'll have to redeem ourselves in the future. But there you guys go. So we are in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ninth place right now out of the 10 bikes I've done a track attack. Actually, I didn't even do a track attack with the KLX, but there you guys go. Um, these have been pretty fun because I'm like, wow, I went way faster than I thought. And finally this week, it's like, uh, went a lot slower than I thought, but that's how it goes sometimes you guys hope you're enjoying track attack hit a, hit the like button down below <laughs> Leave a comment. Tell me what you're thinking about the series um, Please don't suggest different bikes for me to ride when people bring me bikes. I ride them I don't go out looking for particular bikes to ride. Hope you guys understand that. Um, that's all I got today Thank you so much for watching until next time as always take it easy and if it's easy take it twice. We'll talk to you later